Hey everyone, welcome to today's video and welcome back to my channel. So this is the most random video I've ever filmed in my whole entire life. I'm halfway through like clearing out my flat. I don't know if you can tell from the background, but everything is a mess, everything is everywhere. And halfway through, I found my kind of bits and bobs that I used last summer to turn my garden into an outdoor cinema. And you would have seen that like right at the end of the video where my little sister controlled my life for 24 hours because she was like, Em, make me the cinema that you made. Like I, I really want that. So I did it and I'm not in that house anymore but I still have all the things and today I've decided well I say today it's already nearly four o'clock that I want to turn my balcony into an outdoor cinema is this a challenge what is this I don't really know I just know that this is gonna be a lot of fun really random and I don't know if we're gonna be able to do it, but like my boyfriend gets back tonight, so I'm, you know, imagining this whole scenario where he walks in and there's this like amazing outdoor cinema and he's like, oh my gosh, you're so thoughtful. And I'm like, yeah, I know. So we'll see if we can make this happen. I have no idea. I'll show you what I've got. And I'll show you obviously how I did this because last year when I did it, I didn't really show you and everyone was like, how did you do that? Because it's really easy. So yeah, let's get into it. So this is the space we're working with. It's quite a narrow balcony, but I think the shape actually works pretty well. So I'm thinking we can have the screen here. I don't know if you can see, I've already started to kind of line up command strips so we can hang the screen up. I only have three though. I need to go buy another set because we're missing one, but I'm thinking, the screen here with like the projector pointing up. Maybe we do some like cute fairy lights on like the window here. I could even hang the fairy lights inside so they're not blowing around everywhere. And then somewhere to sit just here, maybe like make this corner really cute. And obviously we then got like the length here so you're not going to be too close to the screen i think this could work pretty well and when it's dark outside i think it could look really cute i mean i would love to hang things from the ceiling but i really am not going to risk standing on a chair or anything this high up it's just not happening which is why i shall be hanging things that i can only reach there'll be no chair standing for this do not worry so like i said i did a similar thing last year so i've already got the screen to you like project the projector onto i've got the projector i've got some little bits and bobs like cushion covers and cute things to make it cute i have fairy lights because i'm a youtuber so obviously i have fairy lights and i just need to go get some command strips to hang it all up some like snacks to make it cute and i'm trying to think what else i have these really cool kind of like cute lights that i used last year but i don't have them anymore I'm trying to think what can I do that's like super cute that I can kind of lay on the floor. I don't really know. Oh, I have these like gold, like they're from Prime. I should go into Primark. They have really great things. These gold kind of fairy lights. And wait, I should probably check if my boyfriend's actually coming back tonight if, before I do all this. I'm just gonna treat it as if he is coming back. And then if he's not, we can just take it down and put it up tomorrow. It's not that big a deal. So I need to figure out what we're gonna sit on. I feel like that's the major task. That's the only thing that I'm like lacking. And I thought it would be really funny to get a blow up sofa from Argos because we both had them when we were younger and we were joking about it the other week that we like should go and get a blow up sofa. So I was looking on Argos and they have a blow up sofa which looks like the perfect cinema sofa. However, I don't know if it's going to fit. Like it looks quite big and my balcony is quite narrow. So I've got the measurements here. Okay, I already feel like there is no way this is going to fit. Like at all. This is a tiny width. Yeah, no, no. Oh, it's so much smaller. Oh, that's so frustrating. It's actually a really small space, you know. I mean, it is blow up, so I could kind of just shove it in, but it doesn't really sound very comfortable. So I found this one on Argos. It's not as cute as the other one, but it says it's comfy in the reviews and this will fit perfectly. It's just not very cute and I don't know if it's gonna be like as comfortable to kind of chill on, but I feel like we could figure it out. I mean, the other one, this one's just so much cuter. Like it looks way comfier and this just doesn't look comfy, but we can figure it out. I feel like it'll work. So we'll go with that one. I could get it home delivered today between seven and 10 for like three pounds, but I'm gonna go and get it and carry it home. Hopefully it's not too heavy just because I don't wanna risk it not coming till like 10 o'clock, if that makes sense. I mean, actually he's not off stage till half past 10, but I wanna get it ready and make it cute, okay? I can't wait that long. So I'm gonna go over to my nearest Argos, grab it, I might go into Primark first and see what bits and bobs they have that I could, you know, 
to make it cute. I should probably tidy up the rest of this place first, the thing that I actually started doing before I decided to film this video. So you may have noticed I got the white ones when the other command strips that I already have up are clear ones. These were like a pound cheaper, so I was like, eh, let's get them ones. Let's put this up. Next up, I'm gonna place the other command strips along here so I can put the fairy lights up and then I'm gonna pull the curtain across. They almost look like, you know, they're on a background. And I got these ones. They didn't have the same ones that I would normally use, but these will work just fine. I think I'm gonna do six of them and then if we need more, I will open the other packet, but we'll try and make it work with these. <laughs> hard to see until it gets dark but they look really good they fit perfectly which is amazing I wanted a little gap here so you can get in and out of the door <laughs> which kind of works and they fit down into the socket down there which is absolutely perfect so I couldn't be happier I'm really excited to switch them on though I'm gonna like pull the curtain across and then fingers crossed it'll look really good so now it's time to see if this has a pump with it or if I'm about to be really out of breath for the next 40 minutes, let's be real. Oh my gosh, it doesn't look like it has a built-in pump. I swear they always sell these things with a pump. Am I being silly? Actually, to be fair, this would be fine. I was that kid that would blow up the like blow up swimming pool with my mouth just because I really wanted it blown up, and mum would be like, I'm not getting the pump down, you're not having the pool up, and I'd be like, oh, watch me. So I managed to do the first bit fine, like it's pretty solid. I'll probably do it again when I finish the other bit, but I just can't do this. So I've come to the conclusion that I'm gonna try my hair dryer. I don't know if it will work. I rang my mum and she was like, just give it a go. But I feel like it kind of fits kind of well around there. So let's try it. I don't know. I don't know if this is gonna be a complete fail, but I really don't wanna blow it up because it keeps making me lightheaded. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's actually working. Oh my goodness, thank gosh. <laughs> Wow, I'm so proud of myself right now. Now the trickiest part, let's see if it fits. The other one would have been so much comfier. So this was a fail, it's too small, even though it was supposed to fit the gap perfectly, which tells me maybe the bigger one I could actually squeeze in. So I'm gonna go and get the other one and see if that fits. If that fits, I will return this one. If the big one doesn't fit, I'll return the bigger one, if that makes sense. So, off we go again, another Westfield trip. This better be worth it. I have returned, and this is what I'm talking about. I wanted something that was substantial. Now. I hopefully I'm gonna be able to blow this up with my hair dryer. If not, I'm gonna to have to make another journey to Argos and go and buy a pump, which I really don't wanna do. This is becoming a lot more work than I initially thought. This is so big, I bet I can fit the other inflatable sofa literally in it. We're gonna have to squeeze it. It will work. Just maybe not quite like it's supposed to. I'm just gonna call my mum and ask if this is safe. Is this, is this safe? Uh, what is it, sofa? It's blow up. Okay. Just don't stand up on it and fall over the railing. Oh no, of course, I would, no, not gonna do that. So this is how we're looking right now. Now I know it doesn't look like much, but Wait till it's dark and I will show you the final thing. I'm gonna go get some snacks so I can set up snacks. And of course the screen is up, but you wait. When this is dark, this is gonna look like the cutest setup ever. is my outdoor cinema and how I created it. Super easy, all I needed was like the screen, 
the projector and then pretty much bits and bobs to make it look cute. So I do really hope you enjoyed seeing how I created the whole thing because so many people asked last time. So I was like, hey, I'll just film it this time. I mean, let's be honest, it didn't really go to plan, but it's fine. I'm really happy with how it turned out. And if you can't tell, I am in Disneyland right now. I will link my vlog channel down below and my previous video was actually me packing for Disneyland. And now I'm here, I'm having a great time I'm in the Newport Bay. But yeah, if you did like seeing how I created the cinema, give it a thumbs up. I will link my video down below that I did last year with Sophie where I said yes to 24 hours and I created it in my garden, which was kind of cool as well. That was pretty cool. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you so very soon. Bye.